Enigma Variations is pure joy. It's beautifully entertaining. Ashton was a master of expressing characters with his dance language. It is very human and very real. It's like a snapshot in time of friends, and I think there's nothing really more warming than that. The Enigma Variations is by Sir Frederick Ashton and shows the narrative drive that we like to bring into our work uh, within the Royal Ballet's repertoire. It is a series of sketches on these close friends to the composer Elgar. Ashton has kind of presented a setting where at Elgar's own home, there's all his friends gathering and in the space of a few minutes kind of summons up something of their personality. It's a representation of moments from real life and it's all to music of the same name by Edward Elgar. At the time, Elgar is just going through a bit of artistic anxiety and doubts. Elgar didn't think he was that great, and everyone around believed that he was very good. And it's their persistence in encouraging him to get this score written and get it out there. I think it's an unusual piece because it doesn't seem to be about, you know, like a love story between a man and a woman, which is quite normal in ballet. And I think the essence of the whole piece is friendship. Should we just recap the first bit? Give us a little lead in. What's interesting about this revival of Enigma Variations is that a lot of the people uh, are performing the roles for the very first time. My character is called Troyes. He was an architect and a friend of Elgar's. He was kind of characterized as being very brusque, very energetic and fast. And a motif of it is that he's opening a piano and closing it again, because apparently he was a bit of a frustrated musician. I'm very new to this, but this is my first time. But what I'm learning is that I really need to know the music before I try and learn the steps almost, because as is classic with Ashton, they come completely hand in hand. Dorabella is a very dear friend of the family with a speech impediment, and you hear that in the music. Dorabella goes, jump, bum, jump, da, 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 da. And you can just imagine someone trying to get the word out if they get a bit nervous. It's very rare that you ever get to perform something where actually the music and the characters are completely connected because that was the reason of creating the score. My role is quite understated. There's not big dancing in it, but it's really about, you know, getting to the soul of the piece, and I think that is actually very difficult to do. You have to draw on something from yourself, really a time that you wanted to do better and you doubted whether you could, and how you sort of keep going and don't give up. It's not an easy ballet. It really is an acting ballet for everyone. It's quite a unique piece. It's about the movement in its purest sense. You can't fail to be moved with the music. It is amazing to see the steps and the music come together in such a brilliant way. It's not just pure dance, it's a visual. The designs, the costumes are perfect. Enigma Variations is that little jewel in the middle of what the Royal Ballet really is about. <laughs>